I started rubbing shoulders with people who owned Ferraris, Lambos, McLarens, Aston Martins, Rolls Royces, Bentleys, so on and so forth. You name it, I got my foot in the door with these kinds of people. Getting this car by far helped me grow my network. When I was 19, I went out, I bought myself an AMG GTS. It was a car I've always wanted. My first mentor actually had this car. And funny enough, I graduated during COVID. It was the first year of COVID. And we had drive-through graduations. He let me, my mentor, drive this car. It was a 2016 version of it, a little bit older than my car is today. He let me drive this car to my graduation. And it was a feeling I hadn't forgotten. So when I made a little bit of money, well, maybe not a little bit, I, a little bit. It was multi six figures, I'll say that much. I went out and I bought this car. I bought a newer model. It has, it has the vertical grill. It's the GTS, and it's so thrilling and exciting. Recently, after two and a half years, now I'm 22. I bought it at 19. Recently, I removed the secondary cats on the car. If you don't know about the MG GTS, it has the first set of cats, which is outside of your turbos, between your engine and your transmission. It's fairly easy to get out, but putting it back in is a mission. You have to disassemble the front of the car, take out the transmission in order to put it back. Your second option is just sawing off the secondary cats which is after your downpipe and before your muffler. So I opted to do that, and now it sounds even more ridiculous. But anyways, now all that aside, let's get into the meat of this video. And being in the Silicon Valley, it's not like LA. The true ballers only really have these exotic cars. LA. Any schmo can go out and finance a Huracan. Any schmo can go out and rent a Huracan. Here, the guy has serious money, multi-multi-million, if not touching the billion dollar net worth, if he's driving an SVJ, if he has a higher caliber car. I know millionaires here in the Silicon Valley that drive Tesla Model 3s, just to put things into perspective for you. I start rubbing shoulders with these guys, and I had more conversations with them about real estate. Eventually, a couple of them became clients of mine. We looked at properties in the hills of Los Altos, and one actually closed, and it's been my biggest commission check to date. I earned $103,000 in one single check because of this network connection I had due to the fact that I had this car, and because the car was qualifying me, this guy was willing to talk to me and have a more quality conversation. It's a different feeling when you go to the gas station and you see the guy with the 812 Ferrari Superfast filling up his car and you pull up in your AMG GTS or your McLaren and you start a conversation. With him. He's much more willing to talk to you. It's more qualifying. People want to hang out with others that are just like that. They're not gonna talk to and completely entertain a guy in a Toyota Corolla, however nice the guy might be. This is the harsh reality. The world is superficial, some people are superficial, but you need things like this to create some sort of barrier of entry to know who's what and who's not. I don't completely agree with this, but it's the reality. And versus fighting it, go use it to your advantage. If you have at least $150,000 in your name, I'd recommend Go and fake it till you make it. Go buy a cool car. Go buy a M4 comp. Go buy an M5 comp, whatever it might be. Of course, set some money aside for your living expenses. Set some money aside for taxes as well, because Uncle Sam's always gonna come get his fair share. It's a lesson I've learned and I'm still learning to this day. But go do it and see how these high net worth individuals perceive you differently. Of course, if you have a little bit more money, and you can afford exotic tier level cars, do that. Go to the car shows, go to the cars and coffees, 
if you get a Ferrari, go talk to the guy with the Pagani. Go talk to the guy at the car show with the Ferrari 812 competition. That's it, guys. So, a lot of people think that having a supercar can be a liability. This is true if you don't use it properly.